there, Kira here with a uh, layout process video for Stitch It Sunday. Um, so uh, this is a monthly series that I do with Christina. I will link her channel down below um, and we each do a layout that features some hand stitching. So today I decided to mix it up a little bit um, and do a little bit of mixed media behind my um, cut file here. So if you watched my um, resolutions for 2018 one of them was to um, kind of get over my fear of mixed media and try it a little bit more so I'm slowly easing my way into it so all I'm doing now is I'm um, getting my cut file off of my Cricut mat here um, I just used a font that I had on my computer um, I get all my fonts from defont.com um, and just um, enlarged it to I think it was 11 inches wide um, and just cut it out on my Cricut. Um, I'm scrapping these photos of my kids. Um, this is when we were still living in the apartment and we were out on one of our daily walks and the maintenance guys had like left a faucet on and so it flooded like an entire sidewalk um, and my kids of course being two toddler boys were super excited and wanted to play in the water and get muddy and dirty and so that's what they're doing in these pictures is just splashing around in the giant wet uh, mud puddle I guess that the maintenance guys had left out <laughs> Um, so I'm going to go ahead and add some mixed media behind my cut file here. So all I'm doing is like really roughly and lightly with a pencil kind of tracing around where I want my cut file to go. Um, and then I'm going to take some white gesso and um, a paintbrush and just kind of um, messily paint on some white here behind my where my cut file is going to go. So um, I just wanted it to kind of look messy and um, not like I purposely planned each stroke, even though you guys know I totally did. Because um, <laughs> I, uh, yeah, I'm not one to just let go with my mixed media, which is why I think the paintbrush probably works better for me than like uh, the packaging technique. I don't think I have enough control with the packaging technique versus a paintbrush, so I think that's why I like the paintbrush better. Anyways, um, I'm drying it with my heat gun because I didn't want to wait, um, and I was too impatient to let it wait to dry, and I wanted to get started on my stitching. So I just went ahead and uh, used my heat gun on that. And just so it doesn't really take that long to dry um, anyways, so it's not like it really took that long to dry with a heat gun either, but it just sped the process along. So I'm going to press my cut file back down where I want it, and then I will glue it down with some glue. Um, and I won't make you watch all that because that would be boring, um, but I'm just going to take my Tombow and um, just add tiny bits of glue all along my cut file. And that's my son playing with some washi tape over to the right of me. <laughs> so we're crafting together. <laughs> um, so once I get um, that all glued down, now I can punch my holes. And um, I use a um, we are Memories Keeper mat, um, and I used to use a regular Taylor's All to do my punching of my holes. Um, you can find both of these things on Amazon for probably about $10 total, really cheap. And then I just stitched in some white thread all around my cut file, and I'm done. I love the way it turned out. I think it looks awesome with the mixed media behind it. I think it looks really cool. So um, I didn't really know where I wanted to place my photos. Um, I had an idea when I had first like had the layout um, kind of placed down. I was like, oh, okay, I'm going to put my photos here. But then once I got it stitched, then I went back to it and I was like, where did I want these to go again? And I 
completely forgot. So um, they're not at all where they were at the start of the video, if you noticed where I had them before. <laughs> but they turn out, I mean, it's fine where they ended up. Um, I'm going to bump a couple of them up with some foam. So I'm just using some regular craft foam. Oh, I guess I only bumped one of them up with craft foam. Um, and then I had no idea how I was going to embellish this page and I hadn't really even thought about it before I started. Um, I've been, it's been a long time since I've, um, like scrapbooked without like a kit or without like design team requirements. Um, so it was actually a little harder for me to do this one because it was like, oh, you're free to do whatever you want. And I kind of got a little panicky like wait what <laughs> so I just pulled out my blue ephemera box and decided to go with kind of this like monochromatic color scheme since I have the blue cut file on top of the blue background and then the pictures are in black and white so it's kind of got that gray feel to it so yeah I just went for like this blue and kind of aqua color scheme and threw in some some black and white here and there so um, I just pulled out everything I thought might work um, pulled out some chipboard some stickers um, some puffy stickers um, and just started kind of placing everything down you will notice that I have a journaling spot um, up there and I was gonna do some journaling on this layout and then um, I got about one sentence in and it filled up the entire journaling spot because my handwriting is just way too big. So I end up typing up my journaling and putting it there, like in that same general spot. But you don't see me do that because that'll be off camera because I was like, oh, I'll just do my journaling off camera. And then, uh, yeah, the journaling just turned into a fiasco. So I end up typing that and you won't see it, but you will see it in the pictures at the end. Um, so yeah, I'm just, um, using a bunch of stuff, like from, there's like some Citrus Twist stuff in here, um, some Paige Evans Puffy stickers, um, stickers from the Carousel Collection, and ephemera from the Carousel Collection, and it's just a kind of a mod podge of everything in my stash. Um, and yeah, I think it turned out fine. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and hear everything down. Um, and I, I don't think there was any rhyme or reason to like where I'm placing things. I feel like sometimes I get too stuck on the whole like rule of three and you need to have, you know, clusters of three and whatever. I think I just get too stuck on it sometimes and it makes it harder for me to actually embellish a page. Um, so sometimes I think it's best if you just kind of forget about the stupid rules of scrapbooking and just put things where you want to place them. And I think it turns out looking fine. I like this one. I do not have three clusters. There's like five clusters. I don't know. Um, but I think it turns out just fine. Um, I decided to bring in some more gray. So I found these phrase stickers, um, from Citrus Twist. I think these are from, they might from, be from the January kit. Um, and I didn't use any on any of my layouts for Citrus Twist this month. So I decided to throw some on here because they had kind of, I mean, they were gray, but then some of them had like some aqua on them too. So I thought it would work well. And they had um, phrases that um, I think worked perfectly. Um, although I cannot think of what they say at this moment, but you will see in the close ups. Down there at the bottom, um, I will end up putting my date. Um, and yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and put my date here just some black ink with my roller stamp and luckily that camera was not glued down yet so I was able to pick that up and put it back down. 
Um, and then I felt like it was like missing something and I had that little like trumpet at the top, which really doesn't go with anything. It was just kind of the right color I was looking for, but I had gold on it and I didn't have gold anywhere else on the layout. So I was like, oh, I'll just put some, some Heidi Swap gold color shine and splash that around the page and that'll bring in some more gold. So I did that and then I decided that it needed some white splatters. So I end up mixing some gesso with some water and I'm doing some white splatters and I do some big like splashes with this. I really like this um, paintbrush because you can kind of squeeze it and get those giant splatters on there which is nice. Um, and yeah I think that'll finish off my layout. I, I think I did black splatters on here too but I don't think that's on camera. Hmm, I'll have to see at the end. Um, so I'll have some close-ups here at the end for you. Um, and I hope you guys enjoyed this. Make sure to check out Christina's video. And I will see you next month for another Stitch It Sunday. Have a great day. Bye. Oh.